excited to introduce this place to you. This is the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village at Vellar, one kilometer away from Kovalam. This is a newly opened space, you can say, as the one stop shop for all the uh, cultural arts and crafts heritage of Kerala. You can find a lot of um, you know items here, you can buy things from here, everything related to the Kerala culture, Kerala arts and crafts culture. So let's go inside and see what's waiting for us there. I see a map from here, probably the map can help us uh, in what direction to go and what all items are waiting for us inside. So let's go in. This place is humongous and well maintained with lots of greens and the architecture reminds of the old traditional uh, buildings in Kerala and as I told you this is pretty new place and uh, they have you know it's well kept okay this is the map that I was talking about like I said, the place is so huge and you can see 61 marking points in the map itself. And I definitely don't think I can cover the whole space in one day. You'll have to spend, probably if you come to Kovalam, you can spend one full day here. Uh, you know, going to these marked points. You have uh, Colory Academy, you have recreational facilities, studios and what not. So while I see around this space, don't forget that our next category of voting is for the hill stations. You can vote for your best hill stations that you prefer to visit in Kerala and we'll take you there. So the poll is on keralatourism.org website. Don't forget to vote again, I'm reminding you, uh, the voting lines are open and we'll take you next to the hill stations in Kerala that you vote for. So right now I am at the first building to the right of the entrance and I can see uh, an emporium, uh, art gallery, craft cafe and store here. Let's go inside and see what's inside. Wow! Look at this! Can you believe this? What an incredible painting. I think they're trying to show a market space here and uh, a building where people are like sitting and watching the market or something of that sort. But I really salute the artist who, have, who has, you know, painted the whole wall. And look at the architecture of the building itself, really gives you that vibe of uh, being in a place where art is given so much of importance. Let's go inside the Emporium now. Beautiful emporium this is. I'm going to find a staff who can explain better 
about the items displayed here. This is for sale. I know that this is for sale. But I'm going to find a staff who can explain better on what they're showcasing here and um, where are the uh, items from and if the artists are inside the uh, premises of this building or I want to really want to know details about this. This is a clock that is made of marble. You can see inside, it's made of marble and it's from Jaipur. This is metal, this is made of, these figures are made of metals and this is from Chhattisgarh. How beautiful this is going to decorate your homes, just imagine having this on the walls. Similarly you have a frame with the figures, metal figures. work by some great talented artist across India, not just Kerala. Okay, so these are wooden uh, elephants and uh, these are made, this, these are in-house made. Little heavy though, and then some wooden cases, jewelry box. Yes, the traditional jewelry box, the instrument, instruments in uh, sale. No, no, sale, no, no, okay. Rhythm, tabla, all these items here are for sale, and there's more towards the other side. Leather work, oh, okay. Leather work. The pride of Kerala. Elephants. Peacocks. How intricate designs, if you can uh, show the designs, it's so intricate, so detailed. Amazing artist. Oh, look at these tiny pots. <laughs> look at them. It looks so good when it is placed here. Probably when you are building a new home, you can find out, you know, where this can be placed. It looks so beautiful. Maybe very tiny items, but uh, this is definitely going to decorate your house. Either bamboo and akele. What not? There are a lot of items here made of uh, metals, made of wooden materials, made of bamboo.
look at the detailing even the tongue you can see they've, they've not forgot to, to keep a tongue also oh i like this one our very own kathakali so the tourists coming in here can definitely take this as souvenirs as well because you don't get this anywhere else definitely a one stop shop and a genuine shopping experience for tourists in kerala These are 24 carats gold plated brass artware. Definitely something that uh, every Keralaite and every tourist would love to own. This area is totally dedicated to the jewelries. Okay. And some handmade bags and the very famous Kerala spices. So the emporium is, you know, offers a lot of things that you can shop from and I don't think uh, I'm going to finish this whole space. There's there's more waiting for us, so I'm going to go ahead So there are paintings on the walls that take us upstairs as well and one main attraction here is probably you can see I really don't know how people put these uh, works on top there but what a view Check out the art gallery now. I'm going to take a quick walk around the art gallery right now. The work of every artist speaks a lot. Just look at how different this painting is from this one and how this one is different from this painting. So every artist is very unique and the paintings as well. Very famous Teya Can you 
believe this is a painting. It just looks real. Feels like he's sitting with the lantern right in front of me. Another Teyam and the world famous mural paintings. You should see this. This is the trunk, the ears and the horn of an elephant. How, how real it looks, how genuine it looks. The famous Patmanabh Swami Kshetra at Piravarantapuram and the planets. A deeper meaning probably. The beauty of Kerala captured very well into a frame. So this was the art gallery and I, I, I am speechless. I mean every picture speaks a lot and I am finding it really difficult to talk about one picture because every picture is unique. So right now I am done with the art gallery and let's move out and see the next item in list. Right now, I am at the craft section of Kerala Arts and Crafts Village and uh, there are a lot of studios for uh, different craft items here. Probably in the art gallery, you would have seen few items were made in-house. The studios here are the places where these items are made. We have the Puram Crafts that showcases uh, the Puram items. Straw picture crafts. Probably it would be difficult for me to show you around this place um, through our uh, program but uh, you can definitely come in here and experience this. You can spend a whole day here and watch uh, how the beautiful artist of Kerala makes these crafts. They also have a special studio for the musical instruments. Teak wood crafts, I think I should go in. So these are the creations of a national award winner called K.R. Mohan and look at the designs, look at the work. If you want to show something that's truly made in Kerala, you should purchase items like this and take it back to your country. Ok, 
Okay, this is the artist here. He is receiving the national award. So this was a snapshot of the craft section of the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village and let's move on to the other side and see what's over there. Look at how beautifully this place is maintained. I'm loving the way it's well kept with lots of greens, lot of browns, architectural beauty. In the Emporium, we had shown uh, the coconut husk items and this is where they are made. The famous Aramula Kannadi, you can get it from here. Probably I should show you one. So this is the famous Aramula Kannadi. Pretty heavy though. Absolutely beautiful showpiece. Made in Kerala. Thank you, Chief. Terracotta, ceramic crafts. Those are the small items, the tiny items that uh, I had shown you inside the emporium. Okay, the terracotta and ceramic items. So he has been doing it for a very long time and um, their products are only sold here at the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village. You can see the live making of mural terracotta relief. The artist is right now in action making the uh, terracotta relief. So the speciality of the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village is that they are not selling their designs alone. If you want something to be customized, you can bring in here. The artist and the artisans will surely give it to you. They will model it, they will design it, they will make it and give it to you. I see God in every thread that I draw on the spinning wheel by Mahatma Gandhi. And I definitely cannot miss this place because Kerala is very well known for its handloom, for its handloom materials, whether it be uh, the saris or the kurtas. So definitely I should make a move. So this cloth is, the dye used in this cloth is made of hibiscus flowers. How cool is that? The cotton saris, the Kerala sari and the live weaving. So she is going to take one day to complete this whole thing.
Okay, you shouldn't miss the Kerala sari. The Kerala sari. Look at the beauty of it. So this is made in the loom that we just saw. And this is of a bigger cassava, broader cassava. This is also done here using the loom that we just saw. The Kerala sarees also come with designs like the paintings and uh, any designs of the sort. So even these sarees can be customized. You can give your preferred uh, designs and they'll print it for you. Okay, so let's make a move out. Cane crafts here where you can get chairs and sofa sets, baskets made of bamboo, hammock and jewellery. You can buy these and place them in your gardens, handmade. That way you're promoting the artists and the uh, weavers here in Kerala. My favorite portion, jewelries. Hi. Ella handmade, Ella. Everything handmade by the talented Mingala Okay, so they are the people who make these jewelries. You should take around here. So the speciality of the artists here is that uh, they will work on your designs as well. If you want anything to be done, preferred uh, on uh, something to go with the costumes that you have, then you can give the designs and they'll make it for you. This was a quick snapshot of the uh, variety of cultures, variety of arts and crafts here at Kerala Arts and Crafts Village. I will not be able to cover up the whole thing today but let's try and see and let's explore what's on the other side. An amazing amphitheater here. Probably when it's uh, open for the tourists and when we have a lot of people coming in here. So this can be a podium for showcasing the arts and crafts uh, and the art forms of Kerala. What an amazing view, right?
There's an artificially made waterfall here and the perfect place for resting because I had a long walk. In the meantime, you should visit our website keralatourism.org. There's a poll open for the best hill stations in Kerala and you should vote for your favorite hill station and we'll take you to the most voted one. So I'm going to take some rest and you should go and vote. It's a sign off here at the Kerala Arts and Crafts Village. Like I said earlier, I haven't been able to cover everything. There's a butterfly park, there's a sunset ridge and children's play area. But definitely I will not be able to cover it today. But as I said earlier, you should come here and experience the arts and crafts heritage of Kerala. And uh, it's a one-stop shop for genuine shopping experience in Kerala. So that marks my day here and uh, I'll see you at the next location.